Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching. Uh, this problem may not be completely applicable to golf, but it's more about how you would solve it. So let's go ahead and do this one. At the 2005 British Open Golf Tournament in St. Andrews, Scotland, Tim score for the, fir the four rounds were 5, negative 7, negative 1, and negative 3. What was his total score at the end of the fourth round? So all we're going to do is add all the these together. So I'll write that out. And there we go. So we just need to solve this problem. What I'm going to do is I'll do this one a little bit different than number 5 on the practice test. So instead of using a number line, I'm just going to add and subtract these as we go. So let's go ahead and look at these, and we're going to change some of the operations, right? Uh, some of you guys hopefully remember that we change these operations. If it's plus a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting that value. So we would subtract here as well. This is plus a negative, so we subtract here as well. So I'll rewrite that using only subtraction and addition where it's applicable. So here we have 5 minus 7 minus 1 minus 3. So here we have 5 minus 7, uh, so we know we're subtracting a number that's bigger than the number we're starting with. So when we combine these two, we'll have a negative value. All we've got to do now is take the bigger number and subtract the smaller one, and we know what negative value that is. Looks like that's a negative 2 here. And then moving down according to the order of operations, I simply combine the negative 2 and minus 1, so it'd be like us owing two dollars and then borrowing another dollar. So if I did that, I would now have negative three. From here, we have this, negative three minus three. And so we're just going to complete this, negative three minus three. So if you now owe three dollars and you borrow another three dollars, you now owe six dollars. And that right there is our final answer. What was his total score after the fourth round? Negative six. Now I used money there at the end. Uh, that's a common practice. You may consider all of this money. You have five dollars, you borrow seven dollars, you borrow one dollar, and you borrow three dollars. And then the final question would be how much money do you owe or have? And here since it's negative six, you would owe six dollars. And then we just relate that to this problem in golf, which we've just combined all the numbers to get negative 6.